What is going on guys? So today, Alyssa and I, we are going to be doing our very first catch and cook. A lot of people have requested it, but the thing is I normally don't ever keep fish. I really strictly practice catch and release for the most part, but past week I went on a trip to the Keys to the Dry Tortugas and kept two snapper <laughs> to do a catch and cook. And I guess more of a cook, I'll show the clip of me catching the mutton right here. I think it's a mutton. Mutton, nice mutton. Yes! Yeah, so there's that. And this is the beautiful fish that we will be cooking right here. This is a mutton snapper. He's a little cool, cooler burnt. He's only been in the cooler for about two days, but he's still fresh, still ready to go. We are going to be doing fish tacos. I think, you know, Alyssa and I, we talked about what we wanted to do for the recipe to cook. And I think fish tacos, she made a good point where they're trendy, they're really easy to make, and almost accessible to everyone. I personally, I wanted to fry it, but Alyssa <laughs> said that doesn't count if I just fried it. But you guys know if I fried it, that would be the best way it would taste if you just fried this puppy up. You know that, you shaking your head no at me? You know fried, anything fried is just good. But I figured that wouldn't really be a good cook, cooking seminar about how to fry a fish. Maybe I will soon enough. But we're gonna do some fish tacos. We have our ingredients laid out here. Liz is gonna kinda go through about what we have and what we're gonna be cooking with today. And there'll be a few more added things, but these are our main ingredients we're gonna be using. So we have cheese, scallions, spinach mix, and butter. And then over here we have corn tortillas, some lime, some tomatoes, pepper, avocado, and we have some basil. That is the game plan. We are gonna clean this fish. We'll show cleaning in a little bit, but I don't think we'll go too in depth in the cleaning of fish and we are gonna start cooking. And I will say right off the bat, I am not a good fish cleaner. I've known how to do it since I was six years old, but I do not clean fish very often, so my skills aren't as great. I know there's some people who can literally clean a fish in 20 seconds, but we're gonna go through, take our time, make sure we really make use of all the meat that's on this fish. We don't want any of it to go to waste when we're harvesting a fish like this. So we're gonna get cleaning, get some of this meat off, skin them, our tacos. We don't want to miss very much meat, so we're going to cut almost in a V because they have meat all the way up right above their head. Some fish you've got cheap meat and uh, some noggin meat, but we're going to mainly focus right down here. There we go. So what I like to do is once I have my line cut <laughs> a little crooked right along its gill plate here, you make a cut right along the dorsal ridge. So you're going to go all the way down his dorsal ridge here and stick as close to his spine as you can. So right here, if you can see in that, there's a bone, there's a meat, and so we're just scraping along. And we're kind of taking our time slow for one, just to make sure we don't waste any meat, but two, to kind of show the camera what's going on here. And so we just scrape back at the fish and we're cutting the meat off of the bone and the tendons right here. And so we're just gonna take our time and get this filet separated. All right, we've cut our first filet off right here. A little rough, but I'll uh, give it a pass because I haven't cleaned a fish in about three years here. So we need to skin this bad boy next. And so what I like to do is I've left a little bit of a tag in down here of its skin. And I like to make a little indent into it like that. And first you get cutting, you wanna get a little bit going. And once I get some going, what I do is I hold the knife at an angle, flat against the cutting board. Instead of moving the knife, I move the skin of the fish back and forth, side to side, until so you're getting a really close cut. If you look at this right here, how close that cut is, and you're not getting any skin, so you won't get that really fishy flavor you get from the skin, and it's a pretty easier way to clean it. And so I'm applying some forward pressure on the knife here, just to kind of cut into the fish, but for the most part, most of the action is coming from my back hand sliding skin side to side. Got a little bit, left a little bit on the edges here, but it's not too bad, and that's a pretty clean cut right there. No skin or anything like that. Not too shabby so far. All right, next step, we're gonna cut the lateral line out of here. This also gives fish a very 
fishy and kind of a mushy taste. So this red line right here is the lateral line that all fish have that you see on a lot of fish, like snook is very prevalent, but we're gonna cut this out and it's gonna help knock down that taste. So a little friendly competition here. Alyssa is gonna clean the other side of the mutton and we're gonna kinda see who does better. I have a feeling she's honestly gonna beat me. She's probably cleaned more fish in her life than I have. I don't clean a lot of fish, but we're gonna see. You know, I actually did, I was just saying to Alyssa, I did way better than I expected on filleting that fish, but we're gonna see, uh, get a little friendly competition going and see who does better here. Gosh, guys, I think Alyssa's doing way better than I did. This is not good. <laughs> you guys can vote who uh, who's done a better job here. I know she's not all the way done, but she's already skinned that thing about 10 times better, and it looks like she has more meat on her fillet. Dude, I'm, I'm being ashamed here. <laughs> Alright, I will say that my fillets definitely look nicer, but <laughs> Alyssa's has like twice the amount of meat on hers as mine do. Okay, yeah, yours looks nicer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine, mine looks nicer, but I think she got more meat on it. But at the end of it, you're not judging a fish on how it looks when it's filleted. You're judging it on how it tastes and how it looks when it's cooked. I think I might have to hand over the wind to this one on Alyssa here. But we're done cleaning the fish. We are gonna get cooking. All right, our fish have been filleted. Something that you guys don't know about me is that I actually love to cook and cook a lot. We're not really gonna be following any recipe per se. We're gonna kind of just be improvising, but I will kind of explain what I'm doing and my mindset and show you the ingredients we're using and all that kind of stuff. So we cut two tablespoons of butter right here to coat the pan just to grease it a little bit so our fish doesn't stick to it. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna chop up some of our scallions and spicy pepper that we have. And we're gonna start letting these kind of saute in the pan before we throw the fish in to get a little flavor going. So we're now going to cut the fish before we cook it. So we're just gonna cut it into strips. So we'll do like bigger strips and then make them into kind of smaller ones. We decided to kind of cut this into strips. You know, you could cook this whole and then strip it and chunk it. You could cook it in strips like we were doing or you could even put it in smaller chunks. But all this really does, cutting into strips, is one, it's gonna cook very evenly, all your pieces are. So before we had two fillets that were different in thickness, actually really we had four cuts of meat that were all different in thickness. And so they're all gonna cook at different times, different intervals. But by stripping them down to all very similar sizes, they're gonna cook more evenly, cook around the same time. It's just gonna be an easier process. So something that I like to do is we're gonna take all this meat and actually put it into a Ziploc bag here and drizzle olive oil on it and pour all of our seasonings into the bag and really mix it and marinate it in this olive oil and get it nice and juicy and flavored and seasoned very well. Next, paprika. Paprika is what really gives fish or any meat that you cook paprika in, it gives it kind of that brown texture and that really kind of what authentically looks like Mexican cuisine is when you have paprika in it and it kind of browns your food very well. So we'll get some of that in the mix here. And last but not least, a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of ground cumin right there. Seal our bag up right here. And really mix this stuff around and get that seasoning. Try to spread it on every single piece of fish that's in this bag here. Got a nice even spread going on in there. You know, obviously some pieces are gonna be a little more seasoned than others, but I think that looks pretty good. It is time to throw the stuff on the skillet, finally. All right, we have been letting our scallions, hot peppers, and our garlic saute in this pan. And it smelled really good with that butter mixed in there. And so we're gonna add our fish in here. And then we're just gonna spread the fish around here and really kind of mix it in with all this different ingredients that we've been sauteing in here. So now we're gonna make some guacamole 
go with the tacos. Now we have it all nice and mashed up. So first, we're gonna add a little bit of salt, just a little bit. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of chili powder. And some garlic powder. We'll mash it up a little more. Then we're also gonna cut up um, some of this lime and squeeze some of the lime juice into it. The lime juice also helps it from turning brown if you're wanting it to save the next day. We'll cut up just a few of these little tomatoes from the garden outside. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not too shabby looking. So we're just gonna get a little bit of scoop. Load up our tacos here. Taste is really good, honestly. It's actually way better than I expected it to be. I don't cook fish all that often, but that's very good. So mild tasting. Honestly, if you were like blindfolded and fed this, you would not say that's eating fish. But some people that's a great thing, some people that's a bad thing. But I'm gonna give these tacos a B plus out of 10. I think they're very good. The flavor's great and it's a very simple dish. You know, we took our time, we made a lot of extra things like guacamole and our own fried chips and we even heated up these tortillas in a pan with oil. But overall, very good tacos. I can dig it. But we are done, we are gonna enjoy our meal and I'm gonna serve up my parents some of this food as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, First Catch and Cook. I probably will very rarely do these videos. I think we have one more plan that we're going to do with another fish that we brought back. So these videos are going to be very sporadic and rare thing because I do really heavily practice catch and release, but I do believe sometimes it's okay to bring a fish back or so for your family, for your loved ones, and to enjoy yourself. But we are done. I hope you guys enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. I just want to say thank you to all the veterans and all the people that have served out there. Definitely appreciate you guys and everything that you've done and sacrificed for our country. That is it for today or tonight. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Until next time. See ya. Ernie, you ready to try the taco? The fish taco? Oh, he's ready. Bite that. <laughs> no, he likes it.